I think it's fair to say that there is some nervousness uh, here in Damascus as the political process uh, begins in Switzerland this week. Uh, and that is because this particular part of uh, Syria is under government control. And what President Assad has been trying to do is consolidate his power base here in Damascus and in this swathe of country uh, that is around uh, this uh, middle stretch of Syria where most uh, Syrians live. He believes that will give him extra bargaining power, that if he's holding on to the key piece on on the chess set and those other opposition groups, Al-Qaeda-backed uh, militias as well as other jihadists are fighting each other up in the north of the country. That gives him considerable weight at the peace talks to say that the solution uh, to President Assad in Syria is more confusion and more bloodshed. If you talk to local people here in Damascus, as we did uh, to some Catholics who were uh, at a church service earlier on today, uh, they are hopeful that the, the talks will produce something, even if that is humanitarian aid to where it's needed the most. And we have, over the past few days, uh, started seeing some evidence of that. The Syrian government showing on Syrian state television trucks full of food and blankets and clothing making into their ways uh, into areas that have been cut off uh, so far by the conflict. But a number of hurdles, of course, remain as they go into this peace process. President Assad himself, he is viewed by many in the opposition groups as a butcher who has killed his own people. They do not see him as part of being any transitional government. Uh, President Assad, of course, sees himself as part of the solution. There's also a question of a ceasefire. What we have heard from the leader of the opposition coalition is that they are prepared prepared to discuss a ceasefire if President Assad stops using his military planes uh, on Syrian people. So in effect they're asking for him to agree unilaterally to a ceasefire before they agree unilaterally to their own ceasefire. So a number of issues obviously facing the diplomats also including who is sitting around the table. Should Iran, which is one of the biggest sponsors of uh, President Assad's regime, also have a presence there? Some on Labour's front bench back at the United Kingdom uh, think that without Iran there, it is not a particularly convincing process. So a number of things that have to be discussed. Of course, time running out, the diplomats starting to gather in Switzerland on Wednesday.